Thanks again to the folks at War Cave for sending me an advanced early copy of it to check out with you guys. Um, this game comes out tomorrow. I think it's going to be $29.99. It's going to be out on uh, Steam, but I think it's also coming out on like pretty much every console. Switch, the Xboxes, the Playstations. Yeah. Black Legend. You know nothing about this? You excited? I don't know much about it either, except that it looked pretty cool and it's got turn-based combat, which I love. So, let's check it out. You guys ready? Does it have difficulty? I'm sure it's difficult. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Yes, it does. It does definitely have difficulty. Difficulty profile, normal, hard, custom. Whoa, you might not get the achievements. No, oh, okay. All right, let's see. Normal, use of Philosopher's Zone. I don't know what that means. In battle saving on, single save mode off, ability EXP, unit EXP, encounter rate, encounter difficult. Wow, okay. Yes, there are difficulty settings. Permanent death. So there you go. You can play it your way. Oh, we got character creation. Okay, don't mind if I do. Big clap on those settings, yeah. No, that was good. Vital question, does it have UI scaling? All right, well, let's check out our options. UI scaling. Uh. I don't know. It does have a lot of options. I like that the audio is all broken out like this. Which is nice. Oh, you can play with controller. It's got controller support. Video and graphics. 16 months ago, something awesome happened. And that something is you. Not that I see so far with the UI, thorny subject, but we'll see. Catterly, thank you so much for the 16 months. Thank you very much. Welcome. All right, here we go. I'm going to play on normal. Let's do normal. All right. So we've got uh, male, female. I'll give you some ideas of the female heads, female hair. Hair colors. Up. Oh, <laughs> let me show you the hair colors with the bald head. There we go. So, not a ton of options, but definitely can choose what you look like. All right, let's see which heads we've got here. We may have to go with a mustache like that. That's just too good. Oh, that guy looks all disgruntled. I want one that's like, I want one with like a che big cheesy smile. How about like this? I want a guy like that. Make the character look like someone in chat. That's very dangerous. I think that's dangerous. Let's go with this guy. He looks surly. He looks uncaring. Oh, look at that. Oh, he, he put all his curly curl curlers in. How is that dangerous? You made me look bad. I don't look like that. Um. All right, maybe we're going to go with curls. <laughs> Mr. Curls a lot. What's the first hair we had? I kind of like the first hair we had. I don't remember which one. Might have been this. Something like that. Hair color. Do 
Give me the facial hair. Oh, okay. Mr. Beards. Raffle the chant. You want the character creation to last forever. Is what you guys want. Man, there's a lot of beards. Jeez. How many beards are there? Facial hair options, there's like 20. Hair options? <laughs> there's there's 10. <laughs> <laughs> they ran all in on the on the facial hair. I like it. I like it. Now I've lost the hair I I wanted. I think this one. Okay. Yeah, no, I think we're just gonna There's no like dark brown. Let's go with this guy. I'm gonna do fancy. Go with the fancy. You want a whole game that's just a really good character creator? That's like the whole game? You just keep making new ones? Yeah. Black Desert Online. Exactly. <laughs> that's what I was going to say. All right. There we go. There's our handsome man. That was the pinnacle. Um... Should we name this guy? You can even save them and there are ratings for characters. What does this guy look like to you guys? What, what What's his name? Spencer, Sir Pokes a lot. McGroofy. <laughs> Bartholomew, Sir Stash. Always a Bob, there's always a Bob. <laughs> Didn't I say he was surly? <laughs> I like that. Surly. Surly. He's uncaring. <laughs> surly. You sure you want to finalize your hero? Yes. Hello, I'm Surly. He looked like a Bartholomew. He does. You're right. The brutality of war spares none. And perhaps the survivors suffer the biggest consequences. Okay, that got dark. The city-state of Grant no, Robin. enjoyed the protection of trade partners for centuries. And when that protection faded, as the banners of united invaders approached, the city turned to Mephisto instead. With his one hand, the legendary alchemist created a potent brew, from which he unleashed a dreaded fog that blanketed the streets. Puppies. With the other, he spread his gift of antidote to the citizens. But with his legs, he eventually left, and all that escaped Grant since that day. But with his legs? Agony and chaos. Such is the legend of Grant. Brave mercenaries, our victorious king has given you a chance of redemption. Your transgressions against the crown shall be forgiven. Deliver him this city filled with riches, free of the mists that once turned his soldiers feral. Grant him this wish, and he will grant you your freedom. So what, what did we do to get in trouble to begin with? All right. I wonder if this is going to be better with controller or... What do you guys think? Controller or mouse and keyboard? I guess I'll try mouse and keyboard first. All right, so use WASD. Move the camera with right mouse button. The E button used to interact with objects. Some objects can also be climbed when interacted with. Okay. And press the P button to open the menu. Okay. Insult the too many royals. Certainly. Yes. Certainly. Okay. There we go. Hello. Can I pick up a helmet? Okay. I can zoom out. I can zoom into here. 
Guy's got great posture. He does. It's pretty good. He's he's holding his carriage properly. As opposed to these wagons that are not holding their carriage properly. This looks like the start to Dark Souls, does it not? I don't get why Johan is so bothered with you lot. Every new mercenary bandy wants me to let in dies faster than the last one. Name's Martin. I would settle for more pleasant introductions, but now's the time for a more simple question. Why have you come here? Freedom. A royal pardon from the king? Yes. I've seen my fair share of looters, treasure hunters, and idiots alike, but that's a new one. If you want to stay alive here, then ask Johan to join the Guilty Claw. I'll take you there as long as you don't slow me down. Okay. The Gilded Claw. Yo Get ahead. those legs moving. It's not far from here. All right. Sunset, the Eternal Cylinder. We're playing Black Legend. Today. Okay. I don't know if there's a loot on the sides. Yeah, move those legs. All right, so I can rotate the camera. Still have some stamina after your journey? Good. See this light? Means Ooh, someone inside is willing to talk. Hi, Gardner Nervous girl. fellow, but loyal. Keeps an eye out for the gates for new visitors. Ask him for the key to the gate there. We lock up a lot of things and grant on Johan's orders. Believes it will prevent people from stumbling into places they have no business being. Okay. You willingly entered this place? Should have taken the death sentence, friend. Much better way out. Grant is beyond saving, I tell you. If the fog doesn't kill you, the bleeding Mephistians will. Them nutters actually worship the fog and the madman that created it. <laughs> Dobby, Harry Why Potter's in grave danger. Here? Simple cowardice. Useless in battle, just like most people indoors. It's true. I'm useless in battle. Keep an eye out for lanterns. People hiding may have interesting things to tell. Could save your life someday. Off you go, then. Off you pop. Here's the key to the little gate. No point keeping it locked when the cult controls the entire city. Sock him. Give him a sock. Harry Potter gave Dobby clothes. Dobby is a free elf. All right, let's, uh... Speech volume was a little high. A little powerful. I could save the game. Auto save. New save. I'm gonna call it a new day. There. We got it. Dobby is your Roomba's name with its googly eyes and all? Oh, nice. Did you give Dobby a sock? Oh. You willingly entered. I'm sorry for talking to you again. I'm so sorry. There we go. I see a red door and I want to mm, paint it black. My luck. My fisty and cultists up ahead. You lot, hope you haven't forgotten how to swing those weapons. Oh no, I never forget that. Prepare your group with anything you found. Can't have you die this early. Prepare your group? Take these daggers. It's always nice to have a rogue on hand. Oh. And this crossbow would do fine in the hands of a sharpshooter. Shoot down any stragglers from a safe distance. Okay. What? Changing your oh. class will teach you new abilities, depending on the weapon you've equipped. Keep using those abilities in battle to learn them forever. Passive abilities are learned by simply having them active in battle and performing actions. You can have free learned abilities from any class alongside free? the other ones. Remain versatile by swinging classes often and learning new abilities. Okay. 
They want me to head on swing once classes. you've sorted it all out. I can only distract them for so long. Did he say I should take swing take classes? I think he did. Whoa! All right, finding all the relevant equipment for a class unlocks it for a selection. To change your party, press I to open the character menu. Changing to an unlock class automatically equips the best equipment for the class. Some equipment teaches active or passive abilities to that class. Every time you use an ability, uh, an active ability in combat, you gain progress towards learning that ability. Passive abilities are easier to learn and simply require you to perform actions in combat. Once an ability is learned, you have no longer need to have that weapon that teaches it equipped. Interesting that you learn the class abilities through the weapon you have equipped. Interesting. Hmm. Additionally, learned abilities are available as cross-class abilities. 16 months ago, something awesome happened. And that something is, is you. you. All right. Les, what's going on? How you doing? Thanks for the, so much for the 16 months, Les. Go breakdancer. That should be in my class. Cross-class abilities can be used even when that character isn't that class, but are limited to three. Other requirements still apply, such as required weapon types. The most powerful ability of each class cannot be cross-classed. Okay. Passive abilities are only active when you play the relevant class and cannot be cross-classed. Okay, so passives are for the class only. Aim to learn as many abilities as possible to remain versatile. Every class has different strengths and weaknesses. When a class levels up, their parameters improve based on what class they are. And switch classes often to balance your growth. Okay, so they want us to change stuff often. Well, here we are. We got our... So he gave us... What did he give us? He gave us daggers? Knives? Alright, so I'm immersed... Oh, I have people? What? Steven? Lot? And Eugenie? Where'd I get these guys from? Okay. Mercenary, mercenary, mercenary. Leather tunic. Primary class active. So what am I now? Philosopher stone. We got lots of stuffs. And I got nothing in the bestiary yet. They are hurt. You don't remember them. <laughs> They're hurt. You don't remember them. <laughs> I don't remember them at all. Eugenie. I definitely didn't travel with Eugenie. Okay. So I have a long sword. Uh, what does this change? You're about to equip an item. Oh, okay. That's equipped already. That's what the star is. Okay. So I could equip to knife and the ring dagger. And is that going rogue? Mercenary, sharpshooter, rogue. Okay, so he's a rogue now. I don't know what that means, but okay. Hi, thanks. <laughs> Eldon, I know exactly what you mean there. <laughs> I dream of Eugenie with the light brown hair. La da 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 da. <laughs> oh man. Okay, what's going on here? Oh god. I'm too young to die. All right, we're fighting. We're fighting peoples. Start combat. Place my units. All right, so I can move them around. Okay. Start. When the enemy spots you, combat starts. Units take turns and move and attack. Your turn is decided by your initiative, and your initiative is determined by your agility stat. A unit has action points and movement. Action points are used to perform attacks and abilities. Movement will let you move across the field. Mix between movement and actions as you like. Once you're out of both, your turn ends. Ending your turn without spending all action points makes your next turn come faster. Okay. When ending your turn, pick a direction to face. Oh, we got directional. Attacking from the back or side would deal significantly more damage. Okay. Units with shields take even less damage from their left and front, while those with parrying daggers would perform a counterattack. Okay, they thought this through. Enough talk for now. 
Let me remind you how it's done. Well, that cuts on my team. I was gonna attack him. These flanking and backstab bonuses only apply to melee attacks. Your prowess in battle will improve more quickly if you know how to exploit it. Hey, RFD, what's going Ranged on? Ranged attacks will always count as if they were performed from the front. It's your turn now. Show me what you're worth. Entering an enemy's vision circle will trigger combat. To avoid combat, stay out of sight. The city's overrun with cultists. Depending on your difficulty settings, their activity can be reduced when you battle them. Before combat starts, you may freely place your units within the starting grid. Press R button to rotate the units facing. Okay. All right, now it's Sir Lee's turn. Hello, I am Sir Lee. I would like to move. Is it Sir Lee's turn? Sir Lee. Rogue. Movement. Catalyzing strike. Attack with a melee weapon catalyzing bodily humors on the target. Deals damage to the target. Applies a catalyst to the target. Alright, I don't know how catalysts work yet. Alright, let me try to... F okay, flanking. That, that's the left side. Let's go to this guy. And we can do a kidney shot, a venom sting. Attack with a weapon coated in venom, poisoning the target. All right, let's do that. Let's poison him. Okay, he's poisoned. Can I hit him again? I can. Do it again. All right, that's it. In turn. Now we got Eugenie. Eugenie. Thank you. Yes, we are Sir Lee. All right, what do we got here? First aid. Don't first aid, hit him. Why is Eugenie can't hit him? Catalyzing strike, there we go. 11 hit points, flanked. Is he bandaging? Oh God. He hit me with a rock? <laughs> All right, Steven. Let's go. Wait, Steven's got the rock throw too. Nice. All right, we're going to go up here. Do a nice catalyzing strike. Minus 13. It was a backstab. That's it? That's all the points you got? All right, Q. Bring him here. Rock throw. <laughs> it's him right in the bean. <laughs> All right. This doesn't look like there's attacks of opportunity, does it? All right, that guy's dead. Do it again. No, nope. okay. My little followers don't don't get more than one activity at a time. The animation on that is great. Okay, this guy can go. No, he can't go again. Fine. Chuck a rock. Perfect. What about me? Learn from knife. This learn. Okay, so these skills I'm learning from the knife and the ring dagger. Interesting. And I can't really get into. Can I? Can you attack diagonal? No. Does not seem to be something you can do. All right, fine. turn <laughs> don't touch me Martin all right catalyzing strike catalyzing strike <laughs> that was an eight 
17 crit to the bean? All right, first aid. There you go. So some people can only do like one thing a turn. There you go. All right. I've seen worse. <laughs> this way now. There's more cultists ahead. Good opportunity to see if you remember how to use your body alchemy in battle. Use your body alchemy? No, I don't remember how to do that. these throwing knives. Like regular equipment, they're equipped for the mercenary menu. Consumable items can only be used once, but don't cost any extra oh, action interesting. points to use. Keep track of them. They can be real tie turners in battle. Okay, consumables don't use action points. All right, consumable items can be equipped in the character menu. These items can only be used once per battle, but no action points. Use them wisely. Certain items can also be used from your inventory to heal your units after battles. Make sure to keep a stock of them while exploring the city. Okay, uh, my peoples. <laughs> I just made that disappear off the screen forever. That was good. Um, items, throwing daggers, items. Vitriol, a simple concoction that restores 20% of your maximum hit points. A powerful alchemical creation that can reawaken the dead. Oh. No trinkets. Okay. Stevens using the axe. Let's get... Um... Maybe Steven tries the crossbow? And we've got a hand axe. Okay, let's try that. Is all this in your journal? The stuff he's, this is our quests. Uh, yeah, I don't know. It might be a codex or something that you, you unlock. All right, let me save it. Oh, the tutorial here. Here, it's all in your tutorial. So you can you can reread those things. Yeah. Looks like you have three action points, but some skills use more than one point. I guess. I guess. Well, I guess we'll get, we'll get the hang of it. Hey, Apentis, how you doing? Welcome. All right. I wonder how much like exploring nooks and crannies you need to do. East City Merchant Guild. Head west to the Merchants Guild. Okay. West would be this way. Wonder if there's like stuff to interact with. Oh yeah, you can. Absolutely. I've obtained a higher vitriol. Okay, that's probably a healing potion. Somebody needs my help, quick. Oh, sweet. I wonder if you get like, um, Height bonuses in combat. Probably. It's pretty neat. I want to sneak. Hi. Okay. Let's put my crossbow back there. Axe up front. We will not last long without knowing your body alchemy. <laughs> there are four bodily humors, each represented by a color. Red, black, white, and yellow. Okay. Some of these abilities are marked with colors that will imply stacks of imbalance for that humor. Once the right amount has been applied, you can catalyze them. I'll apply Negretto, a black color with a rock. Then I throw a knife to apply Rubedo, the red color. A catalyzing strike will catalyze the two into a crimson catalyst. They just baked my noodle. What? Red? Black and then red? Okay. And then he's going to catalyze them? Building stacks and catalyzing them is the best way to deal damage in combat. But keep an eye on your own units. 
Cultists also know how to fight this way. Alright, you guys are gonna have Remember to help me with this. Remember that white and red do not match. Neither do black and yellow. Any stacks that don't have a match will remain on the target. Don't disappoint me. <laughs> Use those knives and rocks to finish quickly. Okay. What? Okay, alchemy is the most efficient way of dealing damage in battle. Use abilities to apply colored humors on the enemy. Then combine matching pairs with catalyzing attacks. Okay, Rubedo is red. Negredo, black. Make the crimson catalyst. Rubedo, red. And Citrinitas, yellow. Make the bronze catalyst. Red plus black, crimson, red plus yellow, bronze. Okay. Albedo is white plus black equals silver, and white plus yellow equals gold. The intensity of a catalyst is determined by the amount of combined humors. For example, two albedo and two negredo makes two silver catalysts. Higher intensity catalysts deal higher damage than individual ones. Unused humors remain on the target after catalyzing. Find trinkets and equip them to trigger additional effects when catalyzing certain elements. Some enemies have weakness to certain catalysts. Read about them in the, in the bestiary. Okay. Wow. Okay. I've never seen uh, something like this before. How do we tell what, what color costs, what, what colors do? Ah, apply stacks of Negredo on the target. Okay. Apply stacks of Albido. And then this dagger here applies Rubido. Okay, so he wants me to try to do the black and red one, right? So let's walk over to this guy. And here we do. Here we do. Kidney shot. And then a throwing dagger. Okay. And then catalyzing strike. So this attacks with a weapon, catalyzing bodily humors on the target. Deals damage to the target, applies a catalyst. All right, let's try this. I guess that worked. Man, you wouldn't remember any of this. I just, I wrote it, I wrote down four quick notes with the color combinations. All right. So this person's got first date with this. They don't really have anything. All they have is the catalyzing strike. So we're gonna have to, uh, I guess equip things on these folks. Yeah. All right. Hey. Oh, we did a counter attack. Nice. Okay, so we've got throw rock, first aid, movement, and catalyzing strike. Rock does uh, Negredo. I wonder if you highlight them, if it can tell you what they have on them. Movement, action points. Yeah, I don't know. You guess that crossbow shoots rocks? I don't know, it doesn't seem to be giving me the ability to, to shoot. We'll see. Yeah. Hey, Raz. Question, did you watch America's Most Wanted back and in the day? After 19 no. months, the hero returned. Not really. And there was much rejoicing. Yay. Yale, thank you so much for the 19 months. You're amazing. Thank you. Um. Okay, we got the ax guy. Why don't we move right behind? First aid. 
throw a rock. Colored arrows on square. What do you, what do you mean colored arrows on square? What do you see that I don't see up here? I see the I see the triangle up here, the black. You gave him the crossbow, but you didn't change his class right. You might need a class change or to fire the crossbow, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, we're learning together. My other characters don't have a lot of uh, action points either. So where is the action point? It's here. Okay, he's got three action points. And a whole bunch of movement points too. So catalyzing seems to be the only thing we can really do. What if I just double click them? No. Yeah. Sharpshooter? Rock throw did add a black triangle in the summary on top. Yeah, okay. You guys made a nice conga line there. We did. This one this one guy, Eugenie, is not in it, though. Jump in the line. Rock your body on time. Stop healing. Steven. Yeah, you can see the little symbol that it's going to add, like, on top of the ability, too. That little triangle. There we go. That was nice. Oh, wait, leveled up. Sweet. Good job, Steven. Steven leveled up. It's like a line of murder. It's like, where'd that come from? Who threw that? Okay. I backstabbed. I guess I should move out of the way so other people can backstab. Your E ability is a shot on your crossbow? I have to get back to that other character, though. This one? E? Oh, yeah. Well, it's a catalyzing shot, though, but everybody's got that. Yeah. Out of range. Out of range for E? Okay, well. This doesn't look much closer. It is, okay. Nine hit points. Are missiles auto hit or can you miss? Probably rolls a die and you can hit or miss. Just like Dungeon of Nehobuk. All right, let's move right up close. Swing, 13, backstab. Flank him. And, uh... He gets to go. The entrance to the merchant skilled is up ahead. You go on first, unless I've impressed on you enough to warrant a spot amongst your crew. We're adding a new. Oh, we can add Martin as a mercenary. Add to party. Send to barracks or add to party? Add to party. Oh, I have to replace somebody. But I'm... Uh, man, I'm so connected to each one of these people. I don't know who I would ever replace. Except Steven. Probably Steven. Alright, we're going to send you to the barracks. He's level 3, though. He's better than Steven. <laughs> They're like family already, aren't they? <laughs> um, who did I give the bow to? Yeah, let's go.
Oh, there's dogs over there. All right, let me look at my characters for a second. Um, yeah, I gave away my crossbow. How funny is that? I didn't know what I was doing at the time. I don't know if I can change the classes. Oh, yeah, you can. All right, so mercenary. Sharp. Oh, so I should have swapped the sharpshooter. Rogue mercenary sharpshooter. More throwing daggers. They're only used once, though, and they're gone. Okay. Merchant Guild. Anything else in the courtyard? Anything else we could pick up? Any other goodies? Yes. Flash grenade in vermilion has been added to my pouch. Oh, I didn't even mean to open that. Oh, I like the animations for opening stuff up. We found a black pearl. There we go. We found more. Balancing pellets, bloodstained nail, and a Jennifer? What is a Jennifer? I like that you can climb. You like the graphics, Marauder? Yeah, it's really good. Interesting setting so far. Okay. Ooh. Hello. Oh, fresh meat for the Gilded Claw? Yeah. About time we got some new people. Most prefer cowering in their houses, hiding from the cold instead of fighting back. Name's Karen. I'm in charge of recruitment for our little resistance. Not that there's been much work lately. Most civilians aren't interested, and... Neither are the mercenaries that come into the city, despite Johan's best efforts. She sounds like she's given up. If our resistance can show some actual, well, resistance against the cultists, we might inspire folks to pick up arms and fight alongside us. Traveling in large groups to the city isn't the most efficient thing. Lucky for you, I can help with that. Until you need them, anyone willing to join the effort will be whipped into proper fighting shape by uh, me personally. Okay. Stay on the lookout for potential recruits in the city. Show them a bit of kindness, and I'm certain they'll repay you with their loyalty. What can I help you with? Okay, so there we can go and get... Steven, we don't need you. We just need your crossbow. How do I, how do I take this away? All right, fine. Add to party. Um, Lot's going to sit out. There we go. Sorry, Lot. We need your, oh, I need, but wait, I need your dagger. Fine. Okay, now, uh, Steven. You're going to be our sharpshooter. There we go. No stealing the party's weapons, I guess. You have to bring them into your party, change the weapon off, and then going back. You shall miss him a lot. I already miss her. I can't get rid of Eugenie. New arrivals to the city. Well, well. Look at you all. Look at you. Look at you right away. Sight for sore eyes. Weapons and armor kept in fine condition. Seen their fair share of wear and tear and rust, of course. To be used as their purpose, after all. But you let them fulfill it with dignity. Eh. Oh. Babbling like a foolish child of some attire. Hey, Sango. I'm Oliver, Master of Arms for the Gilded Claw. If you're in need of equipment, speak to me. Yes. Stock is limited at the moment. Not much to find with the cult about. What can I do for you? I can go shopping! Hold on a sec. Eh, get that out of my way. Okay. 
Um, shop. What do we got? This is selling. Okay. Buying. Steel spear. Get breastplate. The black pearl. 125. Flash grenade. 312. Steel rapier. Can almost buy that. I'm going to sell one long sword. I'm going to buy a steel rapier. There we go. Are you sure you want to leave? Items and buy back will be gone forever. That's fine. Quest. Good steel for pistols and rifles is hard to come by nowadays. Next best thing would be a crossbow. But I'm all out of string. Our contact spotted a barrel of string sitting behind the A barrel of district. strings? Didn't want to risk getting cornered by the cult, so they left me there. If you retrieve these for me, I can provide you and the Gilded Claw with a steady stream of ranged weaponry. The Harbor District can be reached from the Commoner District. Just keep heading north, then head east to reach the harbor. What can I do for you? The over million coin still holds value in this city. Even in the deepest crisis, humans, I will buy any equipment you know. What can I do for you? What can I Come do back for in you? One piece, you hear me? Alright. So there's our vendor. The game definitely has a story, but we're still in the tutorial. We're just starting out. Uh you get him a barrel of string and he'll give you the guild. He gives the guild a string of weaponry. Is that what it is? Why, hello there. Stumbled into hell, have we? <laughs> Who are you? If you're ever in need of medical supplies or hey, other Eloquin. tools, come visit me. Providing aid and relief in these trying times is about all I can do these days. Been aching to do some alchemy again. <laughs> what do you require, friend of the claw? Shop. I can't afford anything. Bloodstained nail. There's Jennifer, an alcoholic beverage that clears the system, removing all temporary negative status effects. Wow. Okay, that's some powerful liquor. Keep the wind. Keep the wind in your sails. I shall try. We got. Oh, we got a puppy. Can I pet the puppy? What? Oh, you can. Oh. Yes. Look, guys, the game's playable. Absolutely playable game. Dog has a lot to say. Martin managed to convince you to at least come talk to me. Most intriguing. Many before you have skipped along further into the city. Never to return. Skipped? I'm Johan. Oh, it's Leader Johann. of the Gilded Claw. I presume you're aware of our cultist problem. We try our best to keep people away from them, but struggle deeply. He's got a very gravelly voice. Sometimes we're forced to bargain with the Mephistians. And to add salt to the wound, Sub some survivors survivors. interpret this as collaboration. If only they knew the risk we put ourselves at. Makes us question why we're even doing this. It's mostly low-ranking cultists who are willing to take the occasional bribe. Some will just leave us be. Others have supplied us with some antidote in exchange for botanicals or vermilion. Now, enough about the cult. I'll be blunt. We need your help. Your prowess in battle is exactly what we need to liberate this city. In return, we yeah, support you best we can. We know this city better than anyone else. So what will it be? Will you work alongside us? Yes. Words carry little weight nowadays, so speak with actions. I intend to use your muscle for an important mission. One I will explain in steps to ensure it doesn't reach the ears of the cult. But we found a ship large enough to smuggle everyone out. 
has enough speed to prevent the colt from catching it. We managed to hide it in the fog over the water between the harbor and the shipyard districts. Problem is, ship that size is too great to get past the golden chain. Never heard of it. It's a barrier blocking the entrance and exit of the harbor. It's been raised ever since our neighboring nations declared war. All right. The chain is lifted between two towers. One at the harbor district, one across the bridge at the shipyard district. The cult seems to have invested some people in maintaining it. We noticed some higher activity near the harbor district tower. Access to this tower has been locked off as a safety measure. Take this key. Unlock the path and trigger the mechanism in the tower. And we get on the shape, ship and we escape and everything's great. Here we go. That's it. Profit. Yeah. All right. So I think we're all set. Pull the strings uh, as a side quest. Retrieve the bow strings from the barrel. Uh, at the Seaman Square. Unlock the chain at the first harbor. Do we have a map? Map, 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 map. No. All right, let's save it again. All right, back to the Commoner's District. All right, um, let's just check on our peoples. So we've got a rogue, two mercenaries, and a sharpshooter. Anybody need an offhand weapon? I don't think so. Items. Small pills that balance the humors in the body, removing all humor stacks. Okay, flash grenade. If that's a Steven. Steven is my name. Another black pearl. Does not open from this side. Okay. There's some cultists coming on over here. Oh, did I give someone the rapier? You're right. I did not. I thought I bought it. Did I never not buy it? Hello. Oh, here it is. It's right here. Okay. Simple design meant for self-defense. The abilities are mercenary and duelist. Stomach punch. All right. Martin can wield it. Let's give it to Martin. Hello. Okay. Select class. Also has the duelist ability. All right, we'll make him a duelist. Let's try that. Steel rapier. Weren't I sure on money? I sold a longsword. I sold the longsword. To afford it. Hey, subliminal snail. What's up? <gasps> Boo. Ooh, this might be a big fight. Oh, no. We got him back there with uh, a ranged weapon. Place my units. Oh, look at this. This is great. I can go up here, too. Uh oh, they have a puppy. Cherry Tune, so like XCOM during the Black Plague? It's, yeah, so it's like a dark fantasy setting, but turn based combat, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. 
Head attack. All right, you slash the fo forehead to cause blow blood flowing into the eyes to reduce visibility. Deals damage to the target, applies uh, Rubido, which is red. Inflicts the blinding status, which reduces mark marksmanship scaling. Okay. Um... Okay, that guy got hit with the red. You can see now they have the red mark. And turn. Next is our character, Sir Lee. And we can do a black mark. Now they have red and black. And we can do a catalyzing strike. And that's at 31. Wow. Okay, and then he heals. No, oh, wait, did he he empowered himself? Okay. We did a counterattack. They're still up. These guys are tough. Yeah. This game looks very interesting. You're a sucker for turn base. Me too, subliminal snail. This comes out tomorrow. We got uh early access from the devs today. So thanks to War Cave Studios. They're a uh a studio uh, out of Belgium. And uh, it's coming out on all consoles and PC. $29.99, I think. Yeah. All right, so Eugenie. Can we just do a catalyzing strike? How much is that gonna do? Is that enough? Yes, okay. It was enough. All right, um, snipe, take precise aim at a vital organ to damage the target, deals damage to the target, applies stacks of black. Out of range. Nine, did nine hit points. Ooh, that sounded crunchy. Twenty-four, and blinded. It's climbing back up. Can I get his musket or whatever that is? Go, Eugenie. Okay, so you can still hit people that are up on top there. Ooh, we leveled up. Okay, Sir Lee. I still got the puppy here. Venom Sting. Kidney punch didn't do much. Counterattack. Okay. I like all this. Oh, um, dude. He left the dog with like two hit points. Damn. Ten hit points and burning. Another ten hit points and burning. Sir Lee! His life false is running out. We gotta figure out why I only have first aid, um, like nothing else over here. We gotta look at, we gotta look at our other characters again. So that seemed to work out pretty good. Okay, kill the dog. Backstab. Backstab again. No. OK. 
Okay. And let's take this guy's head off. Now, I'm leveling up, but I don't know how to, like, spend points or take advantage of that. I haven't really told us that yet. Here he goes. Okay. Ooh, we get to loot the bodies. Loot. Vermilion. I guess that's, like, coins. Jar of sulfur. Vitriol. Hand axe. And we got the wheel lock musket. And we unlocked a new class, the executioner. Okay. Certainly, how did you get hit points back? Hmm. All right, let's look at Eugenie for a second. Select class. And now that she's a mercenary. Pocket sand. Hinder the enemy by throwing dirt and sand. And stomach punch. It does red. This is a double white. So they said to switch things often. How do I tell when the like when something has been learned? You know how they said you can learn an item after you, or learn ability after you use it? Oh yeah, King Arthur Knight's Tale looks interesting too, Rabbit. That that just went out, just came out into early access though. So I, I haven't tried it yet. I might wait for that one to be a little bit more developed. Alright. Um Let's try. Aimed attack of the arteries to accelerate body instabilities. Deals damage to the target. Okay, so that is more of a long range, right? The musket. They said to swap, like, classes all the time, didn't they? I guess we're going to have to use consumables. How do I use these on people? Use it on him. And we'll use one on Steven. All right, let's do a new save. Grip nuts. What happened to his shoes? It automatically equips, like, the items for that class. I guess that's what happened. Where is it? I have no item. I have no, uh, I have no executioner items. So maybe we shouldn't switch to this yet. Let's swap to things that we actually have equipment for. Okay, so the duelist would take that. Let's go, let's go back to rogue for now. We're still early on. I don't know if we need to swap things around. Um... Genie's the mercenary. Now we've got four primary classes. Martin's the duelist. Steven's the sharpshooter. Okay. Let's do this. Yeah, thanks for pointing out that uh, he lost his shoes, Doom Prophet. I don't know if I'm going the right way at all. North Shipyard District, East Shipyard District, City Center, Hangman Square, West Merchant Guild, Lead, 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 Lead Graveyard. All right, so we need to go to the Siemens Square in the Harbor District. The ship is in the harbor now. See if you can spot them. Another immigrant coming up from the bottom. Yeah. Harbor Tower. North.
One of the skills was red for rogue class on Sir Lee. Can you see learning progress on the specific weapons you have equipped? I don't know. Um, I mean, there's other things to learn, it looks like, too. Because I don't have all these abilities, for sure. If we look at the actual... For rogue, venom sting... For mercenary gives you pocket sand plague doctor. Wow, there's a lot of classes. Oh, there's a fight right in there. Oh, screw it. Let's go. Let's do it. Take the high ground, man. Sir Lee goes first. So Sir Lee is like so much better than everybody else. Because he can do a lot more every round. Of course, I totally blocked my main character out of being able to do anything this round. Because I'm a moron. I don't think anything is ranged. Backstab. And blinded. Which is nice. Ugh. Okay, now we... Somebody should be able to do a catalyzing shot on them. And it'll be the red and black. Red! The color of desire! Black! My world when she is not there. 26 damage. Okay. Not bad. I think we're going to get knocked out here. <laughs> That's how I feel, guy. <laughs> Random guy out in the rest of the town. <laughs> All right, we got kidney shots and venom stings. <laughs> Kidney shots and venom stings. I wish these people can do more than one thing a turn. Do more than one. Level up. Hit him with the rock. All the pew pews and much of the muhahas. I feel very weak in combat here. I feel like combat's not our thing yet. <laughs> I feel like severely underpowered. Oh man. Because, like, and every character except for our main character gets, like, one thing per turn. <gasps> hey, don't hit you, genie. <sighs> Damn, that did a 31 backstab. Ugh, <laughs> oh, Martin's gonna go down. Not good enough. Don't die, Martin. I need the tax scatter from Yakuza that I always crept for day. I know, I need that AoE. Scatter. Level up, nice.
Shouldn't you catalyze on uh, Sirloin? <laughs> Sirloin? Sirloin! Since uh, opponent has black white. A black white is not a. Oh, it does. It is. Black white is silver, isn't it? Okay. I didn't think that was a combo. I think you're right. It's Sirloin of Beef, isn't that his name? Alright, let's try the catalyst. Let's see what it does. Okay. Alright, we barely beat that. Throwing Dagger and Jennifer. Vermilion. Vitriol. Or Vermilion. Alright. Stained Glass Shard. Wonder if that's like stuff to sell or uh, crafting, maybe? You can see the triangles around the character's class icon. If the two edges touch, they can combine. Okay. Yes, yeah, Sir Lee. I mean, we could have named him um, Comference. So he could have been Circumference, you know. You know, we could take a little off the top and use circumcision. Do that too. It's lots of names. All right. Um, let's heal. Here we go. Healing. Nothing more than healing. I'm running out of healing. I need a cleric. Okay, and... Maybe Eugenie's gotta try a different weapon or something. Hand axe? Select class. First aid, throw rock, pocket sand, and stomach punch. Mercenary, Strength D, Markmanship D, everything's D. All of them are Ds. Strength S. Oops. Duelist. Oh, he's using a crossbow. I wonder if that's what's better, the crossbow or the, uh, the actual wheelock musket. You can see the learning progress when selecting class. Show me, let's see. Okay, I can see under the bar here. When they've been learned. You okay? Yeah. Sound like you were falling. Okay, so main hand, off hand for the rogue. We're gonna do stay with that. Okay. Yeah, I guess you'll start learning new uh abilities. Learn from the wheel lock musket. Okay, that's the heated shot. We've already learned the light crossbow one, so let's equip this and start learning another skill. Um, this is learned from a ring dagger. Swift kick. So let's give him the ring dagger for a little bit so he can learn it. Um, let's give Sir Lee... Still rapier, so he can learn a new skill for a little bit as well. Oh, I don't have a main hand for him then. That sucks. Okay, let's switch that back then for now.
Okay, Sir Lee's back to being a mercenary. Fine. Try that for a little bit. Alright, so how do we tell which way to go? Without a map. I guess we just gotta read these signposts. North is the shipyard district. Oh, there's cultists right there. Somehow we got past them. We snuck past them. Locked by some contraption. Okay, unlock the chain at the first harbor. Dead body up there is uh, concerning. A little concerning on there. Okay, this is where we came from. Are those my people just wandering around again? What are you guys doing up there? Oh, I'm coming right away! <laughs> well, 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 look what we have here. The dark depths of this well invoke an overbearing sense of fear. It would be unwise to enter without proper guidance. Oh, so we're gonna eventually be able to go in there as like a, a dungeon, I guess? Shipyard is this way, somehow. Yeah, that's cool. It, it, it warned us too that it's uh not gonna be easy. We had we got a Quin uh Cinquindia? What is that weapon? Cinquindia. A very wide dagger with beautiful lines etched along the blade, while an untrained eye might mistake these for mere decorations. Their purpose is to channel off any blood on the blade, keeping it char sharp. Oh. Plague doctors and rogues. Alright, well. Let's take Sir Lee. Let's make him a rogue again. He's a rogue again. He just can't wait to be a rogue again. Okay. Medium breastplate two. Leather tunic. Okay, who can use it? Eugenie? Eugenie can. Medium breastplate. Duelist. Duelist cannot. Sharpshooter? I bet if I look at it, it'll tell me what it can be. Other tunic. Uh, removes a humor stack at the start of your turn. Okay, 15% health. That oh, doesn't tell me who can use it. Alright, we'll give it to Eugenie. Perfect. That was nice. That was a passive skill you learned from the new dagger? Oh, yeah? Um. Oh, yeah. Items are more efficient when used. Molotovs. Okay. Don't mind if I do equip some of that. Alright, Grape Nuts. Then Yark says, oh no, what game are you making me buy now? It's called Black Legend. Comes out tomorrow. Turn-based combat. Oh no, there's a Gallows over here. Screw it, let's find him. Cultist Mercenary. Okay, Steven. Eugenie, certainly Martin. 
Martin goes first. Are you kidding me? Why would Martin go first? Why would you go first, Martin? You're like in the worst position. Ugh. I literally gotta end my turn. All right, let's give him. <coughs> Minus five hit points. I did five hit points. There we go. That was a little better. He's poisoned and 12. Okay. All right, we got snipe and heated shot. Okay, he's got white and yellow now, which would make gold if we did the catalyzing uh, shot. Swift kick. Now you can see the triangles around that uh, the icon. I'm looking up here. I don't know. Is that where you're looking? I can see it over here. Yeah, and the corners are lit up if they combine. Oh, you mean around his actual thing here? The corners are lit up. I don't see the corners lit up, but I see where you're talking about. Yeah, I don't get why, like, Eugenie really doesn't have anything to do <laughs> except for catalyzing shots. Wow, that did almost 50 damage. Beautiful. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be able to attack this person. I think the sword doesn't teach you anything other than first aid, maybe. I guess so gotta be it out of range I'm a dummy waste of a turn Oh no, I just face her the wrong way. How do you face a different way? Oh well, I guess that does it. Uh, R is the turn? All right, thank you. Thank you very much. Counterattacking. Damn, come on. Level up. Das Boot. I need to find a different, like a more reliable way to heal. We're gonna run out of these potions very quickly. I moved. I can move this other guy in. You gotta get out of your own way sometimes. 
So this guy's got white and black. But can I just catalyzing strike? Yeah. Yes, the answer is yes. Isn't that what first aid does? I guess. I didn't really look at first aid much. All right, so we got three uh, vitriol. Oh, three more. Oh, nice. And throwing daggers. All right, yeah. So first aid does what? Tend to minor runes with basic linen bandages. Restores hit point to the target. Chance of 50% to remove a negative effect as well. Okay, you do learn that from the longsword. Okay. What else do you learn from the longsword? Anything? Oh, as a... As a mercenary, you only le le learn first aid. As an inquisitor, you learn auto... Auto de fe? Ignite the target with a torch? And commander. Wow, look at all these classes. Guard, mercenary, inquisitor, commander. Yeah, we're gonna swap this stuff around. That you think they wanted me to use first aid a lot in the start? Can you use it out of combat, though? I don't know if you can. Can you? I don't think so. Unlock classes, yeah. All right, let's save it. Interesting way to do classes, though, huh? You love how many classes there seem to be? Yeah, it's pretty cool. Pretty neat. These guys have loot. Hey, you guys got loot? <laughs> no. No loot. There were dogs over there. I gotta be careful. Okay. I think I'm, I think I'm going the wrong way. I think I'm supposed to go north. Yeah, it definitely feels like uh, we're just scratching the surface of like character customization and stuff, huh? Okay, balancing pellets and philosopher's stone there. These guys, that's another fight right there. But we can go around them. Like we did before. The hint said something about using up three skills learned from other classes. I wonder how you add those to your setup. I don't know. by some contraption. And I can't step over that little barrel. All right, let's avoid these yahoos. Harbor District, let's go. This ship is in the harbor now. I like the sea sounds. Does not open from the side. Of course it doesn't. Puppies. So if I do something like... All right, let's swap. Select class, mercenary, and take a long sword so you can start learning first aid. 
Okay, so he'll be a mercenary. We'll swap her class. To the rogue. Okay. Alright, he's still learning swift kick. He's still learning heated shots, so let's let them learn those. Okay, we'll just spread out who's learning what. <laughs> I like how that hanging guy was in my camera view there. Like, hey! Hey up there! Alright, Martin's turn. Martin's Home Shopping Decorating Center. It ain't just paint. <laughs> Sassy's getting her graduation regal- it's called regalia? I never had regalia. Yeah, you're right though. Four years fly by. Wow. It's crazy. I never went to my college graduation. I skipped it. I felt it was unnecessary. Literally zero of my friends in college graduated in four years. They were all gonna graduate like the next year, so I would have none of my like circle of friends were graduating. My mom and dad and everything, I'd, I'd have to make them drive three and a half hours to come. I just said, nah, just stay home. I'm not, I'm not gonna go. <laughs> Don't mail me my diploma. <laughs> and that's what I did. All right, so we got stomach punch. First aid, rock throw. Okay. I'll do a stomach punch. Okay, now he's got the red mark. Alright, R for facing. I don't think R, maybe you need to have action points to use R. I don't know. Sassy loves the celebration, so she's all about it. Her boyfriend was like, no way, but then his parents decided to come for, oh, rip. You don't think you're allowed to go to hers though? They're walking, but it's gonna be live stream. Yeah, no, that makes sense. That makes sense. Yeah, I just, uh, I didn't feel like sitting sitting in a place listening to them read off like hundreds of people's names I've never heard of before. <laughs> like literally not a single one of my friends were graduating. So I was like, okay. So she's got the rogue abilities now, but she doesn't have the rogue abilities now. This is weird. Hey, there's a level up. Oh, it's, it's close range. Can't be close range. I gotta shoot the other one. Out of range? Is it because they're... Because I'm... Alright, let's, let's move. Let's try to get out of the way. And now do it. There we go. Crunch. There was a pattern showing up around your character. I think when you hit R, maybe you need to click on those the ground around your character, R. Hmm. 
don't think so. He died. It rained during your graduation. You sat in the rain. Total waste of time. Yeah. She's just doing the college one. Okay, nice. Nice. All right, Eugenie. Oh, that's what it is. When I hit when I hit N turn, it allows me to swap. Okay, that's what it is. Got it. Okay, swift kick. Don't kick the puppy. <laughs> oh, wow, nineteen hit point crit. Diseased? I got diseased. I gotta give Eugenie something better to do. Burning. There we go, that was 53 damage. The catalyzing strikes, really nice. We can get it working. Kind of loot are the puppies gonna have? Fleas and treats. Oh, they have gold and sulfur and throwing daggers and vitriol healing potions. Wow, those dogs had deep pockets. Yeah. Hey, Bjorn, what's going on? And when you're moving, you get red or white sight lines showing if the shot is obstructed or not. I think it's saying out of range, even when there's obstructions. Okay. The combat reminds you of Divinity Original Sin 2, probably because of the dog animation. It definitely has... It's turn-based combat, so it's going to resemble... Those kind of games. Alright, let me look at my characters a little bit more. Eugenie didn't get the rogue abilities. Maybe she uses knife. All right. That's learned from knife. I just need more offhand weapons. Like literally give me offhand weapons, please. They're not giving me any. Please. Please can we have? All right, and I guess I can't use first aid out of combat, right? These potions suck. <laughs> These potions do not heal for a lot. Okay. Hey, Les, what's going on? How you doing? All right, can I go down in here? No. Not yet. I see a red door and I want to paint it black. I have a lot of red doors. All right, we made it to the harbor. 
Kinda. Retrieve bowstrings from the barrel at the Seaman's Square in the Harbor District. And unlock the chain at the first Harbor Tower. Okay. Let me guess, these guys are guarding whatever I need. Perhaps. Perhaps they are. This one I can't open. All right, well, don't have much choice here. And keep going this way though. This looks like a contraption. Some fancy pants up there. Fancy pants statue. A Skiavona? What is a Skiavona? He wonders aloud, hoping someone would answer. A Skiavona. Or Shiavona. Straight sword that carries a beautifully decorated basket around the handle to protect the wielder's hand. Each region of the world has their own style and design for this basket, allowing anyone to quickly discern the origin of the blade. Okay. Commanders, guards, and inquisitors. Select class. Inquisitors, guard. I, I haven't unlocked those classes. How do you unlock new classes? Did they tell us that? Just by using the weapon, maybe? It looks pretty cool. Did it say that, gang? Cultist hounds. Two different types. Wild dogs and cultist hounds. I think it said it's something about unlocking classes, maybe, but I don't remember. Alright, we can check our tutorial here. Uh... Finding all the relevant equipment for a class unlocks it for selection. To change your... Okay. So we have to find all the relevant equipment equipment for that class. Oh. Well, that's a heart of a different color. All right. Well. Let's continue to uh, swap things around a little. Let's make Martin into a sharpshooter. We'll give him the musket. Steven, it's time for you to embrace your inner duelist. Okay. What does hand axe do? Hand axes, buccaneer, mercenary, and guard. All right, so there is something for the mercenary to learn. Oh, that's the ha okay. That's the rock throw. Okay, so rock throw is from that. Which does give you the black um, mark. Okay, and he's got the ring dagger on the offhand. All right. Until we get more weapons, we're really not going to be able to have m much more of a better loadout. I really feel a little hamstrung in that regard. There's a lot of people meandering around here. Okay, so we got cultists up here. Okay, let's get these guys. Okay. Martin's 
first. Blinding backstab. A kick to the back. Beautiful. Eugene. You stead, Eugene. Why is your face turning green? Darian, you've been so bored today. Here's hoping you can alleviate some of your boredom. Just one of these days, nothing seems entertaining. Oh, uh, I know. You just feel generally like blah, right? I hate when I'm like that. I know exactly what you mean. I hope I hope somehow this stream can kind of knock you out of that. We'll see. We're playing a brand new game that comes out tomorrow called Black Legend. What? You just did a little thief move. All right. Okay, so here we go. We can do a stomach punch to add red. This guy already has... What, a yellow? Red and yellow does what? Bronze. Okay, let's do red. Now you can combine the two by using a catalyzing strike. Minus 30 hit points. Okay. Could use a throwing dagger. Out of range. Okay. Ooh. Oh, I didn't even notice that guy back there. Yeah, Eugenie's got nothing to do. There is nothing to do. Well, I'm gonna have a throwing dagger. Here we go. Throw a dagger. There. Now you added red at least. Oh! Murder happened off screen. That's my guy on the ground. You don't get why Eugene uh, Eugene doesn't have any active skills. Yeah, I don't know either. It's it's kind of strange. I have to look at it more. I should we should walk. I wonder if you can revive your people, or is that like permanent? I know we have that one ability that. Or that one consumable to revive people, but. Ow! Swift kick to the pants. Knocked him out. Okay, and now I can do the catalyzing strike. 35. Gotta level up though. Hi. Hi. 
Hi, Elf on a Shelf. What's going on? All right, Steven, get in there. Steven is my name. It's Moy Oiland. All right, now what happens to my party member? Do they get up? They don't get up? Wait. She looks a little broken, doesn't she? Cold lunch? Yeah, cold. Is it cold out? Yeah, she just went out for a bike ride. Oh. Sure. What are we having for lunch? Well, that's the question. Do you want chicken salad? But I also have leftovers from last time. Yeah, either one. It's fine. I think it sounds good. Just like a half sandwich, though. Yeah, I don't need a lot. Okay, so permadeath? No. Eugenie is... Wait. Is she... Is she just back alive with me? And I can just restore her... So look at this, we're almost out of potions. Okay, so I have no potions. Beautiful. Um, Eugenie should be learning this, right? Venom Sting? She's got, okay, no. Okay, there's the problem. I'm using the Cinquenida or whatever it's called. And that is only for Plague Doctor. Well, no, it gives you the proficiency for um, that passive skill. So is that what she has? That's what she has. Okay. So the person messing everything up here is him. Let's give her a knife and then the offhand. There we go. And Steven just has to kind of deal with it. That's the That was the problem. Save a new save. Save number three. Um, cinnamon trim. There we go. Okay. Throwing daggers. My kingdom for another offhand. Ooh, this unlocks this way. Okay. So, there's another way to go. Monster Hunter Rises this Friday, right? Is that what it is? And then we never see Evil Twin Link again. Come to have a chat with an old lady, have you? On break from all the murders. Yeah. Mephisto, Mephisto, Mephisto. That's all you cultists yap on about. I'm not a cultist, though. That man is why we suffer. Can't you see? Him and those useless council sacks of shite that enlisted his help. You remember how Mephisto didn't return. Remember the pandemonium when the antidote ran out. Remember the screaming that day. And while we're at it, let's remember Christiane Howhans, council member of naval affairs, running from his responsibilities. His proud ass ordered a custom vessel made. Glad his workers tied him to an anchor and tossed him into the sea. A salty death is just what he deserved. And you as well. Go have a swim then. See if you can find him. It's all you cultist bastards are good for. Piss off, you <laughs> fog obsessed. She's freaks. very angry. <laughs> this old bat still has some fight left in her. This reminds me of the conversations you have with the people around the town in Bloodborne. Like, you never see them. You talk to them through doors and windows and they just yell at you. Yeah. That's pretty much it. Okay. Fine. 
be that way. Seaman Square. I don't know where the Seaman Square is. Just looking for loot. Oh boy, more peoples. More bad guys. Does not open from this side. I'm not ready for you guys. <laughs> Even Twilight's resigning on Friday. What's the plus sign on the top right of the screen? Yeah, I've clicked it before. I don't know. Plus! Just plus. Just in case you were wondering, just plus. All right, well, we got this this crew over here. This looks suspicious. Should I have everybody like on the same side? put our gun up there. Uh, so it has to be in this white area. It's going to make it very challenging to fight, isn't it? What a pain in the butt. He just hurt himself. And he poisoned my archer. Hey, at least he moved into attack range of everybody. All right, let's beat up this guy. I think Martin's gonna get his butt kicked. Oh, did he just, did he just level up? No. These guys hurt themselves. I know, we're caught in a choke, choke point. Maybe run back to HQ and buy stuff? I guess. I don't know. Have I been getting much in the way of uh, gold? What's my gold situation? Yeah, we might have to because we're, we're definitely uh, not in the best state right now. This guy counterattacks. What a pain in the butt. That was, that was pretty nice. That was pretty nice. So level ups don't give you your health back. I see. Oh, God. God, Martin. Martin's in trouble. Martin's in big trouble. I don't think this guy can get him, though. Martin, do you have a grenade? Martin needs a grenade. All these guys are out of range. I can't even get down. I can't get down. Jump in the water. <laughs> oh, this is terrible. Uh, wow, they got me screwed. Now I can get down. Uh. 
What's the range on a grenade? Wow. I'm to th th this is like the worst place to be fighting. All right, Steven. We could go right in for a catalyzing strike. I guess we should. Follow up with that. Steven is about to die. Don't let him die, Steven. Hang in there. That does not cure enough. <laughs> Did you see the health bar barely move? 12? Oh god. There goes Martin. Martin's dead. Useless. can't attack diagonally. Go ahead, walk in the fire. Thank you. Okay. Bandage. They are hitting me like trucks. You're right, Narian. Is it me or am I really underpowered compared to these guys? I might be. I don't know. This is tough. Please be careful not to encounter yourself there as you are fighting in a pair of docks. Par a paradox! Get it. I get it. Oh. Every time I hit, I do four to him, he counterattacks for 14. And we might have to reload this one. This is not going well. We'll see. Maybe we can pull this out. Can we pull it out? It's possible. Balancing a lot of stuff. Yeah, I tried. Uh oh. Eugenie went down too. All we got left is Sur Surly. Come on, Surly, you got this. Yes! 66 per million. Eight more and a rust covered emblem and a Jennifer and a knife. Look at all the people in your neighborhood. They're all dead. Okay. Wow. Vader, you're right. We won, but at what cost? That is indeed the right question to ask. Um, I should totally go back to heal. I should. I'm looking for loot, though. All right, we're going to save it under a new save called Maybe. 
And we're gonna see if we can recover from this. First, we're just gonna scout around for some loot. Higher vitriol, okay. All right, we got bad guys over here. So that's as far as we travel. That ocean is very calm. It is a very calm ocean. You're right. Okay. Let's see if my, uh... Sense of direction can get us home. Does not open... Hey, it's a tranquility. Tranquil tranquility. I like that. Those guys are back? They respawn? Oh no. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get back without fighting. Well, this fight didn't respawn. Throwing daggers, grenades. Oh, look at that. Is that what we wanted to open up? New class, Landschendekt. We got a steel halberd and a leather tunic. I got a new class. Hi, Fizzgig. Look for the lesser of two weevils. All right, so what is the... I can't pronounce all of these weapons. Well, no, the weapon is a steel halberd, but it's a Landsnekt. A landless knight. Hey, Zudi, what's up? Landsnekt. So it gives you a heavy thrust. Uh, powerful thrust aimed at the vital organs deals damage to the target. Applies stacks of albedo on the target. Scaling strength. I think it's all one word, Narian. I think. Select the class. Soldiers who live and die by the spear. That's me. Okay, let's learn it. Learn a new move. Okay. Gotta be careful not to accidentally hit a fight. Cultists don't knock on doors. It's true. Who are you? Well, unless you're here with food or antidote, piss off. I've got both. Let a man and his family starve to death in peace. Okay. He's so friendly. I feel like I'm, I'm exploring new places <laughs> instead of going backwards. Leather tunic plus one. Maybe this is some of the loot that we we missed. That we should have had at the beginning, you know? Another hand axe. More vitriol. 
like this. I like the far off noises in the city that you hear people screaming every once in a while. It's not supposed to be funny, it just is. Lansnecht are famous for slash and poof, that fashion where the cloths are kind of poofy and made of patches, mixed material. Oh yeah? I missed a box? Where did I miss a box? Next to the stone arch. Thank you, sir. Three more potions. Where was that little base? Oh no, I almost walked right into that fight. Look a different way. No, 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 don't come closer. Oh no. Locked by some contraption. No! They did heal a little, looks like. I don't think we're going to be able to do anything here, though. Delirious Marauder. Look, Marauder's in another game. Just two? Just two. Let's put him on a box again that worked so great the other time. Six backstab. Don't you be giving me no six backstab. No one's in range ever. What do you mean? No, is it not in range? Just get down. Just get down. You're better off. <laughs> Level up should, should restore your health. Just saying. Thirteen hit points. Enemy turn. Sever artery. There goes another guy. Hundred and twenty-eight. This is an oof moment. We're okay. We're fine. We will survive somehow. Going up there. You coming down? Oh, no, no. Okay. Really would have preferred to have two people left. But. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. He had humors from all four. Yeah. It was, that was pretty good. I'm not going to be able to do that combo again now. So I think I'm dead. get behind you and stab you level up not that that's gonna matter much oh 
Uh... You can't get behind me. Damn it! <laughs> Where's the checkpoint? <laughs> Did we hit a checkpoint? What's, what was going on at the checkpoint? Okay, three people dead. But I didn't find the I didn't find any of the cool weapons or anything, did I? I don't remember where I am. That's the harbor. Okay, so we just okay, we just left the harbor district coming back here. So any loot I found, like that. Ooh, Plague Doctor. What? Plague Doctor unlocked? Is it random loot? Steel Spear. Okay, we can do Leg Sweep. Or the Rusty Needle and the Plague Doctor. Plague Doctor. That sounds fun. Who's this Wiggler? Damn it. First I lose my group. Then I get stabbed by one of those crazies. Join us. You there. I think you could spare some vitriol. If the cult doesn't finish me off, the infection will. Do this for me, and I'll fight another day at your side. Mm. That hit the spot. <laughs> I don't think I'll see my old friends again. If you want, I'll stick around with you people for a while. How about it? Sure! <laughs> I hope she makes that noise every time we give her a potion. All right. Um, we'll sit our sharpshooter down for now. You are too kind. Shall we get going then? No spewing on the monitor a lot? Alright, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, so. Hey, look, she's got full health. She's got the steel rapier. Duelist. What else could you be besides a duelist? We already have a rogue. Flat class. Be uh, be the sharpshooter with the crossbow. There we go. He's got flash grenades times two. Okay. I'm trying to get back to see if you can heal without. You are too kind. Without using potions. Um, save it under maybe. Maybe. Is she level zero? <laughs> You're right. She is level zero. There is now a level zero. Yeah, she's not going to be impressive, is she? This needs a contraption. But I think the loot's random, right? We didn't see her before. And we didn't get the spear from over here unless I just missed it. I don't know. We'll see. Oh. That wasn't blocked last time, was it? Music is dreadful. Like not poor quality, but like dread inducing. Okay, there's our friends over here that just killed us. Thanks, friends. There's the steel halberd. Okay. And the leather tunic, too. 
Oh, nice hat. It is a fine hat. Where? <clears throat> the duelist? Okay. Save it under uh, maybe again in case we accidentally stumble into problems. Okay, just going back and finding the boxes that we missed at the very start. You willingly entered this place. Should have taken grand why I'm keeping. I think we talked to that person. Was that Dobby? Leather tunic one. 150 coins? Long sword. We just gotta get to that selling guy. Five hundred. Okay. All right, one more, uh, one more save on the maybe. All right, so was it west to get back to? Uh, those vendors and stuff? <laughs> hey! Yamaya! Woo! <laughs> that one was spicy. Spicy. Thank you, Alaska. Okay. Now we got back. What can I help you with? Okay, so she allowed me to manage the party. What can I do for you? The harbor district can be reached from the commoner district. Just keep hitting north, okay? Keep hitting. What can I do for you? Let's shop. All right, 1500 for the medium breastplate. So another ring dagger would be nice for offhand, right? Steel spear, longsword, hand axe. Still rape your knife. This guy does not have a ton of stuff. But we can sell. Do we really need the long swords? Hand axe. Let's sell two hand axes. Let's sell a long sword. I like that it tells you how many we've got. Other tunic one. All right, let's buy. One ring dagger and. Is it 100? It's 125 for each potion? All right, let's accept this. Come back in one piece, you hear me? These weapons get lonely without an owner. It's going okay, Robin. We got, uh, we got our butts kicked, so I'm trying to restock my... Folks, now here's the problem. If there's no way to fill this, like, if there's no way to get my health back outside of combat, like, what the hell do you do? I mean, I'm down, I have 10 healing potions. They do 25% of the health each. Let's come over here and pet the dog. Leave the cultist to somebody else. Woof, woof. The mechanism of the harbor towers is... Yeah. Yeah, you told me all that. And what does this guy do over here? What do you require 
friend of the claw? Wait, he, for him it's five. Okay, it's five hundred for the healing potion. That's selling it. One hundred twenty-five to sell. What? That's craziness. And what's this? Philosopher's Stone, five thousand. So this revives a fallen unit, restores ten percent of their max hit points. Keep the wind in your sails. They seem to be generating, regenerating over time. Yeah, not much though. Not fast. This game seems difficult. Well, I'm playing on normal. There is an easier uh, difficulty what can I help you with? setting, uh, but I could take lot out. If I unequip, can I unequip? No. How funny is that? You can't like just strip somebody of their stuff and then put them away. How do they do that? What can I help you with? The only way to get what you want is to become a human yourself. Can you do that? My dear sweet child, that's what I do. You can't click the little X there? What little X there? What can I help you with? Oh, you can. Look at you being so smart. Yes. Okay, that's good. Thank you, Narian. I can't believe you, um, Lowe's is level zero. All right, so we've got a Plague Doctor with the Spear. Sharpshooter. Sharpshooter gives Snipe and Discipline with the Light Crossbow. And this gives you Heated Shot or Sever Artery if you're an Executioner. So maybe I should try the bow for a little bit. You get different ability. Okay, we'll try the bow. Steven, we're gonna have to give you a healing potion. Or three. There is a marked box there next to the party manager. No, you're right. I'm not good at seeing that stuff. Bloodstained nail. Thank you. All right, so we got a plague doctor, a sharpshooter, a mercenary. Close has to learn everything. make uh let's make you a duelist yeah i like i like the uh head attack a lot all right let's try this so now we know some things we can't go back there to heal they don't have a great selection of items Sever artery seemed like it did a lot of damage when they used it on you. Thanks. But you're right, it did. Is that a dog up there? Look at the dog! There's more dogs here. 
So the enemies do respawn. But if they don't look at you, you can kind of avoid it. Woo! Just got out of that. Ah, wow, there's puppies everywhere now. <laughs> They're just going around in a circle. Oh, I thought I was going to get it. Hacks. Okay. Ow. Don't hurt me. Well, I like it. Counterattacks. What are you going to do up there, puppy? Silly dog. Okay, Steven. Out of range. Throw a rock. And we don't need to throw a dagger. Plus disease. Looks like spirit can attack two squares away. Oh, you might be able to hit diagonally. Interesting. Good observation. Actually, can I uh, do a catalyzing strike? Out of range. There we go. That crunchy sound just sounds just like you're eating celery. Yeah. I wish like the dog itself had like uh, a sound effect. Do you hear them like growl or bark or anything like that? It's just crunch. Looks like I can go diagonal. Absolutely. Yep, so smurfily. None of my characters are doing a lot of damage these days. <laughs> Not much. Level up. Interesting. My character seems so weak.
so weak or so weak? So weak. Definitely weak. Wait, somebody just died from disease or something? So weak, Wheaton. Yes. Charlie's gonna go down too. Okay. Out of range because we're right up against them. Perfect. Still out of range. Dogs seem pretty mean. They're heading hard and gives you negative sat sat <coughs> Excuse me, status effects. <laughs> Did you hear that? Did you hear me try to talk and not be able to do it? Oh, is that my son? Hi. Hi. You just took a bike ride? Yeah. How was it? I think it started raining. Oh. So I had to come back. It was fun. Good. All done with school already? I did it like one today because my teacher's kept letting us out early. Oh. Nice. Seems very strange to only be able to do like one thing a turn well, with these characters, you know? The dog jumped up there! I love that they made that an animation. Certainly you got this. Stay alive. Ha! <laughs> 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 Alright, maybe you don't got this. Uh... Almost! You got this! Survive! There we go. Wow. <laughs> the character just jumped right up. I'm fine. I'm, I'm here. You know what? A win is a win. A win is a win. Of course, all my hit points are severely depleted. So wait, how many potions do I have? Nine. Yeah, my initial my initial impression is needing more ways to heal. Like, is this what you're supposed to do after each fight? Like, and like even these nine potions, I don't think I could get my full party back up. And even if I do, they're gonna have very little health. I mean, very uh, they're not gonna have any more potions. So very strange. I feel severely, like, behind the, behind the curve here. <laughs> 